Hello, lady. What's in here? Nothing but crayons and construction paper. I don't think crayons or construction paper is going to help us very much. Ooh, it's a TV. This is not the... Hopscotch will save the day. There's numbers on it. <laughs> nope, too many numbers. Bunch of books. Come back for these later. Look, they're both just fiddling with the door now. <laughs> nope, can't find that handle. Alright, let's look at the TV. No TV. Oh, no power. That would be helpful. I was thinking I could put the thing in there, but I might need a tape recorder. Hey, Clemmy, you got something fancy you can play with? Clem. Like a tape recorder, hopefully? Yeah. This desk is just like the ones we have in my school. I know it's weird, but I kind of miss it, being in school. Oh, that's okay, Clemmy. So do I. Me too. I used to be a teacher, remember? I'll tell you what. When we find ourselves a safe place, set up a little classroom. Just you and me. Will there be homework? Absolutely. No homework. Oh. <laughs> Where's Molly? She had to go run an errand. She'll be back soon. I hope she's okay. She parkoured off in the distance. She's pretty tough. Do you think things will ever be normal again? Just like the way they were before? Oh, I hope. It may take a while, but yeah, I do. Don't you? I hope so. It's never going to be the same Clemmy panic. No. <laughs> it's the one thing none of this can take away. I, um, I see something that's on the table here. How convenient if this piece of paper with the combinations on it. That'd be very nice. Oh, it's the thing that was on the doors. Looks like they had quite a system here. Oh. That's fine. That's interesting. Days since outbreak, number of el ineligible citizens found, number of citizens brought to Crawford, number of walkers found. Oh, that was correct. The initials. Oh my goodness, I'm so smart. <laughs> okay, I can stop looking at the paper now. There we go. Oh man. <laughs> I thought that was going to crash my game or something. Okay, uh, let's talk to these guys. Maybe they have opened the door or something. What do we still need? We already that got door the open. The battery. Once we find some medicine. We'll be good to go. So where's this battery you found? Molly has it. She ran off to do something. Well, she'd better bring it back here. I don't know why you trusted that girl with it. We hardly know her. She saved your life, didn't she? <laughs> yeah, but what has she done for me lately? <laughs> Smart thinking. No, wait. There is something you can help me with. Uh, ben. has been on my mind. I could use your opinion. You kidding me? What is it? It's Kenny. Since I've been helping him work on the boat, I've gotten to know him a little better. He's a good guy, you know? And it's eating me up knowing what I know. Knowing what? I've been thinking about telling him the truth. Ben, come on. No, this no, again? that's a terrible idea. It's my fault Duck and Katja got killed. If it I is. If I screwed up back at the motor inn, they'd still be alive. How am I supposed to just carry something like that around? I have to tell him. He will kill you? Are you effing nuts? Ben, no offense, but... Have you lost your motherfucking mind? <laughs> he's barely hanging on. You tell him you're to blame? I will, he'll throw you out the window for me. What he might do. I know. I've thought about that. But I don't know how much longer I can keep looking him in the eye. I feel like I'm lying to him by not telling I'm him. I'm telling you, man, it's a bad idea. It's a terrible maybe. idea. Real bad. Hey, maybe you're okay walking around with somebody's blood on your hands, but that's not who Oh, I oh, am. don't you My start with me. I'll tell Kenny then. Look, we need Kenny. We need him to hold his shit together if we're ever gonna get out of here. So you need to keep this to yourself. Let him kill you later. The good of everyone. You hear me? I hear you. Like on his deathbed or something. Really long distance time away. Keep that business to yourself. Okay, there's a bag. There's a globe. Is that ketchup? Oh, it must be paint. Just a bunch of paste. Oh, okay. Well, it could be ketchup if you have... A Imagination. <laughs> Let's keep looking. There has to be something over here. There's literally like three rooms. <laughs> there has to be something. I see nothing over there. There's a the flag. State flag. A lot of history. There. Oh my goodness! Are you kidding me? Matters much now, I guess. Where is this? I'm okay. Okay. This is getting on my nerves. Where is this dang tape recorder? 
Hello? We need a tape recorder. Anyone? <laughs> I really need it. I'm really not seen. Maybe we need to parkour out of here. Let's parkour out of here, shall we? Let's do it. There's no literally nowhere else we can go, so let's parkour. You can do it, Lee. Aww. Can we like call out for the girl or something? Oh man, I really want in that locker too. <laughs> Alright, let's go back in here. I l haven't seen anything with numbers on it. Maybe we can bust it open or something. Coming back empty handed, I'm sorry. Do we search the desk thoroughly enough? How's it coming? Slow. Too slow. I'm worried that by the time we manage to get this thing open, it may be too late. Oh gosh, Omid. Hey, Doc. Uh, I just wanted to thank you for coming with <laughs> Get us. fresh. For <laughs> I really appreciate it. Don't mention it. It's times like these we've got to help each other the most, right? And we're no better than those Crawford sons of bitches. I heard that. Yeah, we know what happened about them. I'll go see if I can find something that'll help us get that safe open. Good idea. Alright, I have a good feeling. There has to be something in here. Time to rest later, I think. Oh, we're not gonna lay down. That was my solution. <laughs> Just to go to sleep. I just can't get anything in there. There's literally nothing. Ha ha! Here's a thingy. That's a baby. It's a sonogram. Did you just take it? Oh god, what is that? Oh, we're gonna shoot it? We're gonna shoot it? That's a solution. There's dried blood on this There's dried blood on this floor. floor. That's a camera. <gasps> Can we put the tape? Oh my goodness, my mind just got blown. Lee, get done with your, your thinking there. I just saw a camera. Hello, camera. This is amazing. I hope it has juice. Vernon, Krista, come look at this. You're going to want to see this. This is day 82 since the outbreak. 1547. Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I could see old evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm going to give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't want the procedure. I want my baby. I can't do this. I can't do this. Anna. You don't have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this. But I need you to come back no later than tomorrow. Or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. Do we see the numbers, at least? I hope. Damn it! We almost had it. What the oh, hell shoot. kind of place was this? Like Molly said. Bad people. Guy. Lee, maybe there's another tape. We gotta keep looking. Are you I think kidding I me? I recognize that doctor. He was one of the walkers out in the alley by the auto shop. Maybe you should search him. All see right. See what he's got on him. At least I know what the heck I'm supposed to do now. <laughs> tape was worthless. All right, let's go. I know my mission. Hopefully the guy keeps a bunch of tapes on him. All right, and I don't get ambushed by a bunch of walkers. Let's go, Lee. Sprint. Run faster. We know what we're supposed to do. This is amazing. And very new to me. I didn't see the locker combination, <laughs> sadly. Alright, here we go. The ninja my ninja teammate is not out here. Who knows what she's doing? Here we go. I think he was over here. Just open the dang door. There you go. Molly, you out here? You still hitting the guy with the pokey stick? Now where was his body at again? Was it out here? I faintly remember. Maybe it's not out here. Wasn't he right like right here? 
Oh, yeah, yeah, I have to parkour over the thingy, I remember. <laughs> My memory is so good. Alright, let's, let's get in the shed. And do a little bit of parkour. And hardcore parkour. Oh, God! Oh, God! My hand wasn't even on my keyboard! Holy crud! That's terrible news. Oh, man! Ninja! You saved me! Did you? Alright, let's get up there and see who just saved our life. Was that you, Molly? Did you save me? Oh, God, his body's gone. Oh, he's crawling away. Let's go chase after him. We need those cassette tapes. Stomp them in. <laughs> Goodbye, jerk face. Oh, gross. Alright, search him. Loot him. He's safe to loot now. Come on, cassette tapes. We need that combo. Yes! Awesome. This might be just what we need. It better be. What's this? Looks like some kind of code. Six two six thirty. was only four numbers. That seems like a, a locker combination. Oh my. Oh my. Let's go. We must get in that locker. I bet there's a bunch of goodies in it, or just a bunch of books. Either way. <laughs> six two six thirty. Hey, I have great number remembering skills. I bet it's it. Oh, his name was Logan. Okay. Logan. This is his combination this lock. Let's do it. Oh, I didn't have to remember them. That's good. Another tape? Oh my. <laughs> We're collecting them all. Gotta catch them all tapes. Alright, let's go watch them. This is great. I like watching a little show. It's very grim, but... There's not a whole lot of television going on. I found two more tapes. One of them is dated October 10th. That's the day after the first one we watched. Put it in. Hold on, I am. I'm putting it in. Have you made a decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive? To keep on living? This is what it takes. If this is what it's turned us into. I don't make the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you. Please help me. Maybe one day when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. Zooming in. Oh, gosh. No. No. I didn't see the numbers. <laughs> I think we know what happened to Crawford. More importantly, we got the combination. Why are you so upset? Krista, are you all right? What's wrong? It's nothing. That was just hard to watch. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. I think we've all figured out by now that I think she's get pregnant. Those and get the hell out of here. I really, I'm glad I don't have to remember the combination We're you did for me. Yeah, medicine for everybody. Morphine. Take All the good stuff. Carry. Okay, I think we're good. This is more than enough for your people and mine. Let's go. You know, I found a third tape in the locker outside. Let's Maybe watch there's it. There's something else on there. We got the meds for Omid. That's all I care about. We'll uh, head back no. to the classroom. Don't take too long, Lee. It'll take like 30 seconds. You guys don't want to watch this cool tape. Okay, let's watch it. I really am interested. <laughs> this one's dated like way before I think so. Tape number three. Let's pop this puppy in. I should get some popcorn. Whoa now. <gasps> Molly? Listen, as fun as this was, I have to put a stop to this little arrangement. This is the last I can give you. Why? Overson had someone down here yesterday taking inventory. He's really cracking down. I just can't risk it. We had a deal. Yes, we had a deal. We don't anymore. 
My sister needs this medicine. Without it, she'll die, or she'll start showing symptoms, and they'll take her away. I can't let that happen. I'm sorry, Molly. I've done all I can, but I have to look out for myself here. Yeah, that's the Crawford way, isn't it? Well, I know why she doesn't like him anymore. Oh my goodness. Oh shit. Probably shouldn't watch that tape. Alright, let's go back to the... <laughs> let's pretend we didn't see that, huh? She's doing it for her sister, though, so it's okay. We can, uh, we'll just... We'll not hold it against her. She seems like a good person. Until she betrays us. No. <laughs> Alright, let's get back to the command center. And we already looted that locker, so... Oh my gosh, Ninja! Bali! scared the shit out of me. Where the fuck have you been? Sightseeing. I'll take that battery now. Oh, yeah. Uh, about that. What? What'd you do with the battery? I'm just kidding. Oh, gosh. Don't you pull those stuff on me, Molly. You there scared you me. <laughs> We've got everything. Mission success. What's that? Nothing. You can quit with the act, Molly. I know you're from Crawford. What? I know it. Who told you that? I saw you on a security tape. Why'd you lie to me? I said there were stories about Crawford. I never said that's how I knew about it. I never lied to you, and even if I did, so what? I don't owe you anything. You saved my life twice, but you can't tell me the truth? Are we really gonna do this now? I guess that's up to you. I used to live here with my sister. She was 14 years old. When the dead started walking and Crawford shut itself in, it seemed like a pretty good deal at first. We were safe. We had everything we needed to survive. Then the rules started coming down. No one who couldn't justify their place or in their keep. No one who required special care. My sister was diabetic, and by Crawford's rules, that made her a liability. I kept it a secret. Kept her safe for as long as I could. But in the end, I couldn't protect her. That's when I got out. Crawford, they always talked about how their system worked. How anything was better than becoming one of them. But I saw what they'd already become. I just wish I could have seen it before it was too late. Before they came and took my sister away. Oh man, now I feel bad for yelling at her. This is all I have left of her. I didn't have time to take it before I got out of Crawford. I just wanted it, okay? It's okay, Molly. I understand. She's pretty. What the hell? Oh gosh, you're not doing that? That's our cute. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> we gotta go. And they're not at the door anymore. Uh oh. Get your pokey stick. Get Hilda. Something bad's about to happen. We got everything we need. Oh my gosh! Ben! Sorry, sorry. I just got spooked by those bells, and then I heard someone coming. Where's Clementine, you dummy? Kenny and I still can't get the door open to the armory. He sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open. How about an axe? <laughs> oh my god, that was holding the door shut, you dumb kid. I just found it. It was stuck in the door handle at the oh end of the Oh my god. Right You're going out a window. I'm going to take you back up the stairs. Throw you out the window again. You dummy. Jesus. Ninja. Kick him butt. Oh god. Help her. Help her. Oh. Okay. Well, I didn't do that. It wasn't me. That wasn't me. Clemmy. Congratulations. I thought the game just shot for me. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? They're coming. Oh shit. Yeah, we gotta go. Hold them. Sir, but now how do we get out? Through the armory. We can just get this damn door open. Come on, God, damn Ben, you're so worthless. This is my fault, all my fault. It is. What the hell's he babbling about? Ben, we talked about this. No, wait. Oh, I wanna know no. what he meant. What do you mean this is all your fault? Ben, shut up. Penny, I'm so sorry. Not I'm so time. sorry, man. Kid, this ain't the best time. Whatever you did, 
Save it for later. Yeah, save it for later. Shut the fuck up. Fuck you, Lee. I can't do this anymore. Are you kidding me? It's been me all along, putting all of us in danger. Katja and Duck. It oh my me. god. It was all me. Wait a minute. What are you saying? It was me who made the deal with the bandits at the Motor Inn, slipping them supplies. I thought maybe I could keep them off our backs. When it got discovered, that's when they attacked. And that's when Duck... You dumb kid. Oh, you're dead. <laughs> oh, man. Kid, enough! Oh, Come man. Now, man. You little pissant! You're fucking dead, you hear me? Dad, I feel the same way. The child! You got a boat fucking killed! Kimmy! I said, calm the fuck down! He's going out a window. Nice group you got here. Not the time, Molly. If this asshole thinks he's getting on my boat after what he did, he's out of his motherfucking mind! You hear me, shitbird? You can stay behind and fucking rot! I was gonna leave him anyway. Out later, after we get out of here, okay? Yeah, we need Nothing to get out of here. Sort out. I just told you the way it's gonna be. The boat's not big enough for all of us. Somebody's gotta get left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right here! I absolutely agree. <laughs> I don't believe it. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well, but all I want to do is get back to Omi. And He's you done nothing but mess up. Wait, don't I get a vote? No, you're coming with. Of course you do. Ben's nice. He's my friend. We don't leave friends behind. I said she doesn't, and vote. then I said yes. <laughs> On second thought... I think I'm gonna upstay. Lee? Man, she's making Oh gosh. <laughs> He's coming I've with a hate the dang kid. To know that becoming like them is the beginning of the end. I vote Ben stays with us. Oh shoot. He's probably gonna die anyway. I'm really gonna what hope he dies. The rest of us? Don't we get a second? <laughs> no, you're dead like right, right now. Yep, knew that was happening. Goodbye. <laughs> oh my gosh. Now can we go? Yeah. Damn um, right. Vernon, come on. You don't get a vote. He can come with. He's a nice old guy. 